Today, as I mentioned, politicians on both sides of the aisle reacting to what is unfolding, the chaos in Afghanistan. Here are just a few responses to the president's decision. The person to blame here is the commander in chief who rejected sound military advice. Joe Biden has been incompetent most of his political life when it comes to foreign policy. As commander in chief, he is now dangerous. Our country is more at threat today than we were last week because President Biden turned down sound military advice and the same people in charge of Afghanistan are in charge of our border. When will we realize they don't know what they're doing? Our, our Constitution demands that the senior leader, our commander in chief, be held accountable. You know, we've got handled lots of challenges when we walked into office. North Korea was uh, building up its program. Uh, the previous administration had given back a fifth of Ukraine. Uh, we had lots of challenges. We didn't pass the buck. We didn't blame them. We just dealt with them. We confronted them. We took them on. President Biden is the one that needs to be held accountable for what's taking place in Afghanistan today and anything that befalls the United States. President Biden bears responsibility for making this decision, uh, but there is no question that President Trump, his administration, Secretary Pompeo, they also bear very significant responsibility for this. They walk down this path of legitimizing the Taliban. The notion of we're going to end endless wars, that campaign slogan, what we're watching right now in Afghanistan is what happens when America withdraws from the world. And that's where I now want to welcome in uh, Joe Collins, joining us once again uh, from Los Angeles, California, candidate for California's 43rd district. Uh, what are your thoughts on there? You just heard Liz Cheney um, actually blaming <laughs> former President Donald Trump and former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo uh, for what has transpired, saying that they were giving legitimacy to the Taliban. Your reaction to what you heard, and what do you think about uh, now, some Senate Democrats urging for a hearing on what actually went wrong. Well, when it comes to Liz Cheney, I mean, we have to take everything she says with a grain of salt. Uh, we know from uh, the last few months that she doesn't represent the people uh, in her district. I have a lot of respect for uh, former Secretary Mike Pompeo, and I think the groundwork that they laid out to ensure that the Taliban did not come back and take over Afghanistan was superb. Now, and Joe Biden and his administration does have to take a lot of responsibility uh, for the lack of leadership, for the lack of effort, and the lack of um, international policies. And I think that we also have to put a lot of blame on Kamala Harris for being a vice president and not even helping Joe Biden uh, when it comes to some of the blunt of the work for being a president of the United States. Now, looking forward, I think that instead of having hearings on what to do with Afghanistan, the Taliban has already taken over. The only thing that we can do right now is wait because we don't want to go back into another war. But I think we need to start questioning Joe Biden's legitimacy as a president. Is it time for him to step down? Is it time for Kamala Harris to step down as vice president? These are the type of hearings that Congress needs to be having.